back with entertainment critic Ryan J, who's always cracking me up. He's going to help you plan what movies to watch this weekend. Thanks for sticking around. Well, I'm glad to be here. I know you are. I like um, spreading the word of the good entertainment. I like it. Let's start with this one rated R in theaters. It's called Challengers. Is this that? This is not the horror one. No. Okay. No, Let's this is the one with Zendaya, and it, it's oh. the romantic drama sports movie. It's directed by Luca Guadagnino, who is uh, the director behind Call Me by Your Name and oh, Bones yeah. and All, which I was begging Callie to watch a few years ago. Your daughter. Yes. Um, and uh, this. This is my favorite of his films. It is so spectacular. It's probably, in, not probably, definitely going to be in my top 10 of the year. I could really? watch it again. I could have stayed in the theater when it ended and just watched it again. Wow. It's so okay. Good. I'm fascinated because I haven't seen a good movie like this in a long time. Okay, good cast. Then. Amazing cast. I mean, you've got Zendaya and she's a producer on it also. Um, one of the two other co-stars there, there uh, you see Mike Faist. He was Riff in Spielberg's West Side Story and then Josh O'Connor. Uh, is the other one. He's the dark-haired one. He played Prince Charles, young Prince Charles, in The Crown on Netflix. Okay. The chemistry between these three is palpable. Like, you feel it. Like, it's amazing. There's that big kind of question if you watch the trailer of, like, oh, what's going to happen between the three of them? There's a lot of chemistry there. Um, but wow. it has such a great vibe to this film. It's a truly original story that's told in a very non-linear way with a lot of urgency. So even though it's like two hours and five minutes long, it goes so fast just because there's such intensity in the way that it's performed and the dialogue and the drama and the sports scenes, you know? She's gorgeous. Oh, she is. Yeah. Unique relationships, I'm guessing, in this one. Well, she plays a, a sports a tennis star who has an injury and then's marrying another tennis star and coaching him. And the marriage is unique between like, because they're in marriage, husband and wife, but also have that coach and, you know. Yes, coach and client and, or something, right, relationship. So, sort of. so kind of that fine line of like tough love for work and then like also intimacy and then does it affect their marriage, you know, as man and yeah. woman. Um, also, coach and athlete, coach right. and player. And the okay. friendships here, it's just so unique. It's, it's magnificently suspenseful. Um, Good tennis moments too. Like those sporting moments are so amazing. The way it's shot and edited, it looks like 3D without glasses on. It's oh, amazing, wow. so see it. Okay. See this in the theater, it's one of the best films of the year. Did you, I'm sorry, did you call it a rom-com or rom, R rom drama. drama. It's a romantic rom drama. Rom sports drama. Movie, yeah. Okay. Dead Boy Detectives. This is streaming on Netflix. Yes. This is a new series that comes. It's from DC Comics. It's based, uh, written uh, by characters originally conceived of by Neil Gaiman, who I really like. Okay. Uh, and it's part of the world. I think these characters in comics first appeared in the Sandman comic, and that's something that's a show that Netflix also did, the Sandman, which I loved, and they just announced they're having a second season of that. I can't wait. This show I didn't like. Oh. Mm -hmm. You didn't like it. Mm -hmm. um, do, how does it compare to other shows? And, and give us a basic premise. Well, they, uh, there's two guys that are ghosts, and they remain on Earth instead of going to their afterlife, or their afterlife, I guess, is staying on Earth to solve crimes. Okay. And it's just corny and cheesy. Whereas, like, oh. Sabrina the Teenage Witch was really cool, and, like, Sandman, some of their other fantasy Wednesday is really cool. This vibe does not click with me. I thought it was corny and it just, it feels like it should be playing for a young audience, but some of the imagery I think is mature and it's not, there isn't a rating. So I say skip it. I, it did not appeal I to like me. I like when you save my time. But you know I like that genre, so it's, oh yeah, I know. I was disappointed. Speaking of genres you like, you're going to talk about a horror movie, aren't you? Mm-hmm. What is it? It's infested. <laughs> it's streaming. Yes, it's streaming on Shutter, and this is, uh, really cool kind of like classier version of arachnophobia. Remember that movie a few years ago? Yeah, or decades I didn't watch ago? it, but okay. Right. So did it make you shudder? <laughs> Pun intended, <laughs> yes, it did. There's lots of great jumps. First of all, it's so brilliantly done. It's it's very sparingly, like the, the, the spiders that you see, it's rare that you see them. Like they're defocused, they're kind of in the background. You're like, did I see it, did I not see it? That adds to the creepiness factor. Ugh. But they spend a lot of time just really investing in the characters and the people and the story. And it's, it's told like a really great movie. It's in French with subtitles. And then when it gets to the part that might be scary, like kind of the climax, yeah. it goes in a way that's supernatural almost. So it's oh. less scary. And I don't mean like supernatural, like like, you know, ghosts or haunting, but just the spiders are so, they're not spiders that exist in reality like that, so it's really not anything to be afraid of at nighttime. But, um, so you can kind of handle I it. I enjoyed it very much. Stream it on Shudder. Yeah. Okay. I've never heard of Shudder. I didn't know that was a streaming It's a streaming platform. app that's specifically for that genre. Oh, no so I love it. why I don't know about I it. I have it. Curtis would like that one. Oh, yeah. Right? Great. Um, movie Club. Yes, I'm so excited for this, because this is a movie that's going to be streaming um, uh, next week, and it is 
has the record for having the most streams ever for a film. For a trailer has the record for having the most streams oh. ever for a movie that's going straight to streaming. It's the idea of you, the new Anne Hathaway film. Enter to win a Aww. pair of two free seats to see it with me in the theater next week. It's Wednesday, May 1st, 7 p.m. Go to my website. It's awesome. Thanks, Rye. Thank Some you. Interesting movies talking about today. And you can follow Ryan on social media at Ryan J Reviews for his full archive of entertainment reviews to help you decide what to see, stream, or skip. It is RyanJReviews.com.